Hey, you know what day it is? It's match day. Walking up past Bramall Lane now. I got West Brom away, so Wednesday sets off at three o'clock. It's about twenty past two or something. So we're nearly, nearly where our coach picks us up from. Let's have a premier shop. My score prediction for tonight is three 0 to West Brom. I'm not confident at all. However, West Brom away. I do love West Brom away. It's one of them places that we stop. Sutton Coalfield. That's where we stop. It's one of them places, and when we stop, it's just it's a great place for drinking. Enjoy it. So, that's where we're going to be stopping. Match kicks off at 8. And once again, I'm not confident. We'll get some score predictions from some people on the coach. Hey, see you down there. Alright guys, so we have stopped. We are in Sutton Coalfield. Oh, I've got to say, I love it here. I do, it's great, I love it. Been here like what about five or six times now in the past few years. We always come whenever we play Birmingham, Villa, West Brom, Walsall, anyone around this area, you know, like Midlands. We always come here. It's always a nice place to start. We are at the, at the gate in. That's where we are. We're gonna walk down to Malloy's in a bit. Uh, we used to go in that bar quite a bit. Apparently it's been shut for 16 months and it's reopened today, so we're gonna go down in a little bit. I'm gonna go and get some food shortly. I'm sticking with 3-0. I don't think it's gonna be a very entertaining game for us. <sighs> very dull affair once again. I think we're gonna get slapped. What can you do? 1-0 players today. Really sharp if it starts. Yeah, good game. We are gonna to lose. <laughs> we're gonna no lose. Ramsdale. You're going to lose. Ramsdale's going to Arsenal. We've got no decent backup goalkeeper. Um, the kid we got on loan's not in the uh, on bench. Uh, we don't know whether it's a back five or back four, depending on Osborne. And our strike partnership is a total of sixty-eight years old, <laughs> with no pace. And score after watching Swansea at the weekend, being the worst team in the league, and us matching them. I think we might lose today 2-0 and that's me being positive. Do you have any scorers? No, <laughs> unless we score an own goal, very <laughs> <laughs> So here we are, side away end. We're going in shortly. Who are you sitting next to? Oh. Let's take us too long to get here. Alright, it's like half oh, seven or something now. Going in about ten minutes, kick off at eight. Yeah, looking forward to it now, but still, still think it'll be 3 0 to them. I'm kind of tempted to change my score and go 4 0 to be honest, but I stick to 3 0. Stick with Kellen Robinson twice, and I don't know who else to score for him. I don't know who plays for him. Should probably learn, play with some other teams. I'm sticking with three now. What's from fun try across from us? We're right to the side. Greatly down the middle, great view for us. So, 
little bit of context. Stewards are having a go because they put this little flag up here on chairs. Stewards are complaining. Police are complaining because we put a flag up. A flag. How pathetic is that? It's not hurt anyone. It hasn't gone near anyone. And we're making a big commotion out of it. Watch on, he's coming up here. Absolutely pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. They've arrested him for putting a flag up. A little flag there. No, of course, any harm to anyone. And they've arrested him over that. Absolutely. He's a bird and he's a bird. He's a bird and he's a I have. I've got it. I've got it. Don't worry. I know, I know it's a flag. It's a flag, that's all it is. Let's go next, check it down. Did have a one-on-one -on -one opportunity and he just went wide. Uh, I don't know, it's a crap shot. Anyway, um, we're going to go into the second half. It's not a very entertaining match for us, and I don't think it'll get any better. I'm sticking with three now. So, again, the sword again, two 0 Again, I missed it. All up the stairs, missed it. Finally, Barry's dropped the ball. I don't know how good this is. Yeah, dropped it, dropped it again. Needs to tap in. What a load of shy. We're so bad at the minute. Honestly, we're so bad. I'm sticking with 3 0. It could be worse, yeah. It could be 4, it could be 5, I don't know. We can't defend, we can't attack. We're shocking, we really are. Honestly, we carry on in this kind of form and don't make the right signings before the end of this transfer window. We might find ourselves in a relegation battle for Christmas. Part of the teams I've seen us play against so far, Birmingham was so much better, Beast is so much better, Swansea weren't too much better, but still they were better than we were, and they lost 3 1 home to Stoke. I'm not confident. And to be fair, I totally agree with what they're saying. On to Saturday where we'll probably lose again. I mean, to be fair to this lot of signers, they've been pretty, pretty loud all game. The rest of the stadium, something really live and done since our second goal. Dora O'Shea with his second goal. I think the first one was an own goal, but I'm not 100% positive. Come on! I'm not going to lie, it's a lay, 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 so I'm always... No, I don't know, I hear it too much. Boring. pressure on their goal, we're nothing special, we had one clear cut opportunity, but every time we get a clear cut opportunity, it's always the goal trick, he's got the shot and you just know he's not going to hit the target, and he didn't, he put it wide. Should have been the equaliser, first half and it wasn't. There it is, game over, we're so bad, it is 3-0. I might have to change the score prediction, I might have to go 5-0 to be honest. We're so bad. We don't deserve anything from this. We deserve it, Victor. Alex Mowat with the goal. Very good. 
bust through, but our defending is so, so bad. Keep was really, really bad. Again, it was straight out to straight past him. Great ball through. Look at that, straight out of the goalkeeper. Stick your arm out, you save it. You stick your arm out there, you save that. That's shocking. Shocking goalkeeping. Shocking defending. We, we look like a relegation side, we really do. Another game, so in the derby winning. Black Bennett's roaring. Kiara win the middle score. I can't remember the Birmingham score. I think you were 0-0, but I'm not 100 percent sure. To be fair, Ishmael's come in and he's done a good job so far, a really good job. Credit to him. There we go, we finally got a goal on camera. 4-0. And it is Callum Robinson with the goal. That were always going to happen. I mean, to be fair to him, bit of service, we're rubbish. Left was with shit, he's probably right to be fair. We are pretty sure. We are very sure. And we lose possession just like that. We have a throw number two trying. First time we get to attack in a while. And we lose possession immediately. That's so about the keeper. I'm really not confident in Barry. We have been proper smashing. It's the worst I've seen this play for a long time. Very long time since we play like this. And as per usual, you won't see Matt. Oli Burke picks it up at the halfway line, comes forward, 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 forward. Guess what? Takes it out. Every single time, takes it out. No fucking shit! We are fucking shit! We are fucking shit! We're shit, we are fucking shit. They're saying you're shit, we are shit, we're shit. <laughs> Very bad. Hey, we got a corner, come on! Hey. Something, finally, something to cheer. Oh, fucking non league team, on. <laughs> Ben Davis coming on. No, oh, Luke Freeman coming on for Sanderberg. Sanderberg will probably go as well, to be honest. Following footsteps of Ramsdale. Freeman score now. Can we get a goal? Brilliant, but I can't see it. I can't see a scoring at all, to be honest. Like any game. One in. We had an header on target, it's a very good team. It's gone out for a goal kick, but good header. It was a really good save, but it was straight at him to be fair. We've had a shot, 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 we've had a shot. <laughs> We're happy. We're happy. We had a shot. It's a sellout, bro, but away. <laughs> Not as good as that. Oh shit, what's you been? We've had a shot. It's just banter back and forth between both, I love it. It's only 4-0. It's only 4-0. How shit must you be? It's only 4-0. How shit must you be? It's only 4-0. How shit must you be? It's 
Another long throw in. 5 0, calling it here. Helen Robinson. We got her in it, no fucking way, we actually cleared it. Oh no we didn't. We, we got it away from goal, but we didn't clear it. Of course we didn't clear it. Why would we clear it? Might have been a simple thing to do, get rid. And they get it back. Closer. We've had another shot. It was off target, it was shit, but we've had another shot. And the keeper has it. Hey, hey. Keep sorry if we are on once. I can't wait for us to get this into the middle so we can take it straight off for a goal kick. Oh, straight the first man and straight back to them. Good that, eh? Absolutely. And they're away. Wiggles through middle. And we get a goal. Go on, Ed. There it is, full time. 4 0 to West Brom. We showed no signs of getting into the game at all. All game. Start to finish. To be fair to their fans. To be fair to their fans that signed us here, they've been really good. They haven't shut up all game. We've had portions where we've had good atmosphere, but mostly it's not been great. So, a few positives from that game. Uh, first one being, we did look like threatening their goal at, well, at no point in the game. But we were very evenly matched with them for the first 45 seconds until they scored a goal that was disallowed and 10 minutes later they scored another goal that was disallowed which really set the tone for the rest of the game they then scored um, an early goal, an own goal of course an own goal from Robinson for us and one at half time and in the second half they scored pretty much straight away and then we, we scored like five minutes after that and then another five minutes after that we added a fourth half an hour left it could have quite easily gone on to be five six seven eight i don't know it could have been anything we didn't look very threatening at all egan had a not a really clear cut opportunity but he did have a free header inside the box in the second half a little bit to the keepers left but I think the keeper made it look harder than it was it was a good save but i think he made it look more acrobatic than it needed to be all in all, I think the best opportunity of the match for us fell in the first half to David McGoldrick who went one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper right after they scored the first goal. And, well, it's David McGoldrick, what do you expect? He always puts it wide and he gets a one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do love David McGoldrick. But I think at this point, we need to find a new starting forward. We need somebody who's going to score goals because coming into Saturday, we're the only team in the league not to have scored a goal yet. And we have Huddersfield at home, who well, I know aren't very good, and it's it's a Yorkshire derby, but I can't see us getting a goal anytime soon, so if we fall behind, I think we're going to lose. And then when we play Lutz in the following week, again, if we fall behind, I think we're going to lose, because I just can't see where the first goal in the league is going to come from for us. I can't see it. It's frustrating, to be honest. I mean, all in all, despite, like, contrary to what I've said during the game about potentially being in a relegation battle. By the way, a lot of that's all jokes. Contrary to all of that, I don't think we will be. I think we'll get it sorted out by maybe October-ish. I know when when Slav was at um, Fulham and Watford, he had slow starts there as well, and he picked up later on in the season, got promoted twice. I still think we'll finish quite high up, but I think it's going to take a bit of time to find our, our niche, our form, you know, to find our, our way in the championship again it's going to take a while to get to that sort of form and i'm just hoping the fans aren't too fickle and they don't get on the team's back too much especially if we do lose on saturday i'm hoping the home crowd don't get on their bikes and give it rah 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 about all oh, this but just show them support at the end of the game tonight there was a lot of booing when the players came to clap the fans and i don't think they should be just show them support if you get on their bike they're not going to perform well 
If you can show them support, we might do. We might not, but we might do. There's a better chance that they're going to perform and want to perform if our fans show them support as opposed to our fans being fickle and getting on the bike. You know, we're not going to want to play for a fan base that doesn't want them to play. You know, what, what can you do? Anyway, moving into Saturday's match at home to Huddersfield. I think I'm going to get my hair cut before then. Moving into Saturday's game, I'm, I'm going to go with a hopeful and... This is bad. I'm going to go with a hopeful nil-nil. I think that's about all I can hope for. If we score great, but I just can't see it happening, unfortunately. I'm just hoping we don't concede either. So nil-nil for Saturday. We will see you then.